said earlier, Kevin, that to, to really know if he can go, he's going to have to throw it hard and see how that shoulder fits. Is that, is that kind of the plan is to let him really let it loose and see how it feels? Yeah, I think with uh, Baker and with all these guys, you know, it's a short week. So you got to get out here and see how they look today, see how they look tomorrow, and then make a determination. He said he still expects to play. Do you have that same expectation? I think you guys know Baker. Uh, he's a fighter. Um, he's as tough as they come. Uh, I expect him to fight like crazy to get to Thursday. I think that's a great message uh, to our entire team, and, and we've talked about that as a team. We are, you got to on these Thursday night games, you got to fight, scratch, and claw because uh, it, it's a uh, it's hard, but it's hard on both teams. We have Nick Chubb on Thursday. Uh, I'm going to rule Nick out. Uh, Baker also said it's his decision whether he plays or not. I think with Baker, with all of our players, they have significant input in these decisions because it is their body. Uh, I just rely on what they say. I rely on the medical staff when making those determinations. Have the medical staff advised him to sit? Uh, I don't think we're far enough into the week, Tom, to make that call. How about Jarvis Landry? He, he's going to move around today, and, and again, we'll see. How did he look Friday, Tim? Good. You know, limited work, so I, I think we'll get a better – uh, understanding today. Was the idea to practice him at one day last week to, to try to get him for a Thursday night? Uh, not necessarily for Thursday. I mean, it was just part of the rehab, and that was when he could go and, you know, see if he could make it last week, see if he could make it this week. And how about your tackles? You know, Jed and yeah, Jack and Jed, they, they did some work already today. I'm going to hold them out of the practice today, but they uh, did some good work uh, already today. Don't move on. No, I'm not rolling up. And when do you think you'll make a decision on quarterback? Uh, I, th I think over the next 48 hours, probably. Be before Thursday, do you think? Is that 48 hours? Oh. I'm to <laughs> any, any math majors? <laughs> yeah, uh, in the next couple of days. When, when you uh, signed and brought Case Keenum here, um, you would think that this would be a situation that you'd be very comfortable sliding him into. What is your level of confidence in if he would go out there on a short week? Tony, honestly, I have a ton of confidence in all of our backups. I, I really do. I think these guys uh, stay ready so they don't have to get ready. I think they do a great job in the meeting rooms, on the practice field. Uh, so, you know, specifically to Case, uh, you know, he, he's a he's a pro. He'll be ready if, if we need him, and, and that's no different than a lot of these guys. Will Odell practice, Will Odell practice today? Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much he's going to get done. Uh, we'll see. Well, but a chance to play Thursday? Yeah. Well, what stands out to you about the Broncos? Uh, really well coached, uh, number one. Uh, got a bunch of playmakers on offense, got a bunch of playmakers on the defensive side of the ball, really all three levels. Uh, Coach Fangio does an outstanding job, always has. He's, it's a major challenge uh, when facing his scheme, which is really working its way around the NFL right now. So we saw it a little bit versus Chicago. We saw a little bit of uh, versions of it versus Chicago, version of it versus the Chargers. Uh, but just uh, you know, a really good football team, good AFC football team. Kevin, it's, it's kind of a weird week, it being a short week for you. you know, how does uh, you know, who gets what reps at quarterback in practice get a factor into the decision on, uh, in terms of who plays Thursday? Yeah, the practice itself, just based on the fact that it's Tuesday, isn't going to be a normal practice, if you will. You can't, you're can't not going to get every single rep, so uh, that won't factor in, in a big is part. There, is there any scenario in which Keenum would start and Baker would be still available, or is it either start or not available? Yeah, I, I couldn't get too far in the specifics, Tony. I just think we're uh, really focused on today. Will your the avail availability of the tackles play a part in the quarterback decision? Uh, I, I think, you know, I, I don't want to say specifically yes, Marla. I think all of this, you know, at every position, we take everything into account when making these decisions. Kevin, I, I know the turnaround to a Thursday night game is quick, but because your guys' bye week is so late this year, is there some benefit to the timing of kind of getting that little mini bye after this game? Yeah, I think where this is placed is helpful to having, what is it, a week 13 by, week 12, 13. So, yeah, I think this Thursday uh, week being somewhat in between uh, is helpful. What have you seen? What's the strengths of Dearnest as a, not on special teams but mm -hmm. as a runner? Yeah, I think you guys saw Dearnest uh, in there last season at times, and, and he was very dependable. He was very accountable. Uh, you know, broke some long runs for us, uh, can really catch the ball. So, uh, you know, similar to the earlier question, I have a ton of faith in the earnest, just like all, all these guys that, that may get called upon. Is he one of those guys who can accelerate once he gets us? 
space. Yeah, yeah, I think you know, you've seen him return kicks before for us, and, and he's got great vision. And like you mentioned, when he puts his foot in the ground, he, he can really accelerate. Is Felton yeah. or Kelly his back, his main back? Yeah, I, I think all, all, all those guys. I wouldn't, I know we'll probably put out a depth chart, but it's, it's. I'm asking because of Felton's position flexibility. Is he really, you know, is Kelly more of a running back for you guys in this game? Yeah, I mean, John's a running back. Dimitrik might be back there. He might be a wide receiver. I think it's it's very, very fluid. So, Ken, with Nick Chubb been missing two games, are you confident he would be ready for Pittsburgh then or for him not to have been put on IR? Yeah, I think we'll we'll deal with next week, next week. Kevin, what oh. do you, your familiarity with um, Teddy Bridgewater mm -hmm. and Pat Shermer, mm -hmm. um, what, what do you think of each of those guys and what, what kind of factor could that have? Yeah, I mean, Pat, uh, great friend, um, extremely uh, instrumental in, in my development as a coach. Uh, Teddy, one of my all-time favorites, uh, just a great, great person, uh, great football player. Excited to see both those guys. What was the, the process like getting ready? Did you have your potty control coaches like last week on Denver? Yeah, yeah, those guys haven't slept in a, f in a few weeks. Okay. I mean, Vic Fangio said he took a peek at you guys on Saturday. Did you do the same? Um, I didn't. I, I try not to to cross streams, uh, if you will. But uh, I've spent a lot of time, obviously, uh, on these guys. Is Pat's offense this year the same as it was when you guys were together in Minnesota? No, I think uh, he's definitely evolved. Uh, I think like mo mo all the good ones do, Pat's certainly uh, changing up what he does. Uh, hey, um, Malik Jackson said that Miles Garrett kind of had another one of those. Hey, let's meet as a defense mm -hmm. uh, sessions yesterday and kind of, mm -hmm. you know, was trying to kind of rally the guys that way. Um, how valuable has he been as a leader? I mean, we know what kind of player he is. Have you seen him step up in that category? And yeah, what do you think it means for the entire operation on defense. Yeah, I've seen Miles grow just in, in my year. You know, my two year and a half, two years with him. Uh, I've certainly seen his leadership role grow. Uh, he takes that j part of his job very seriously, uh, and, and I think it's it's natural for him. And and you know, every once in a while, you got to hear from the big guy. Do you see guys responding well to him? Yes. You were there when Teddy got hurt. Mm -hmm. is, just is that one of the most amazing comebacks you've ever seen? It really was. Uh, I was uh, fortunate to be around him when we drafted him. I got to coach him when I moved to quarterbacks, uh, and just to see what he went through. And the the positive attitude that he kept throughout the whole uh, trials of, of all of that was uh, inspiring to, to really hit the team, uh, all of us. So uh, uh, he, he's he's an, an all timer. Kevin, you talked about <clears throat> leadership and the team having their back against the wall a little bit, but in what ways have you seen these players respond mentally the last few days to show you they're turning around and looking to Thursday? Yeah, I think you're really forced to. You have to. It just comes at you. So. You start the meetings and, and you very quickly address the previous week and then you're on to Denver and, and you're full speed ahead. Uh, there's so much that goes into these games. There's so much from a preparation standpoint that you really don't have time to dwell on what happened, win, lose, or draw the week before. So uh, I've seen all of our players, I've seen the leadership step up uh, and understand this is, a, this is a really big football game Thursday night. Kevin, you guys were kind of in a similar-ish uh, standpoint this time last year coming out of week six. You know, Baker was ailing. Uh, you guys did play well at Pittsburgh and then completely turned it around. I know it's a different season, but you know, having that experience for a lot of these guys, does that help you at all in this situation coming off the way you played and what you still have in front of you? Yeah, honestly, uh, Jake, I don't, I don't go that far back with it. We just, uh, we understand the task at hand. We got to play good football, offense, defense, special teams against a, a good team, an AFC op opponent, um, and we're really putting the focus there. Do you expect uh, Greg and Greedy to continue to split reps at that spot? I, I think we'll see. Uh, Greg, you know, was on a bit of a pitch count last week. I think he's doing better, so we'll see. Do you expect uh, AJ back this week? Uh, another one. Uh, I've got to get through the, today, uh, especially see him move around. And what has Donovan shown you the last couple of weeks? I think those are his two most productive games, at least from a number standpoint. Yeah, I've mentioned it before. Uh, he's very, very dependable. and. You don't know sometimes where the ball is going to go because you just don't know how the coverage is going to uh, be on, on some given plays. So he's worked extremely hard uh, this entire season, had some opportunities last week and the last couple of weeks, and he's made the most of them. That's kind of what he does. I know you guys, it's every week it's a, a big-name dominant um, D lineman or edge 
rusher, but how much goes into planning for Von Miller and why? Yeah, a lot goes into planning for him. He's a he's a special, special player, uh, extremely disruptive. He gets a lot of attention from opposing offenses, uh, incredible bend, um, just the physical skill, skill set and traits. I, I don't see any difference from five, six, seven years ago with him. Uh, it's really, really impressive.